welcome to another video. In this episode, we're going to have a look at another Dragon Quest figure for Dragon Questmas. It is Elena from Dragon Quest IV, Chapters of the Chosen. Yes, we finished up with the Echoes of an Elusive Age line. We finished with that, and now we're going to the world of Dragon Quest IV. You know, Bringard's only released so far just one, one, one character from Dra Dragon Quest Four. Maybe in the future they'll make uh, they'll make Carol, uh, Minia, Manya, Ragnar, or some other character. Even Torneco, you know, because <clears throat> he's a fan fa favorite, right? So yeah, I got this from Ami Ami this summer. And it was it's pre owned and it was rated the figure was rated B. Uh, you know, I'm actually I'm kinda nervous I'm actually kinda nervous about that and uh I can see this yes, this has been this has been opened. So we'll see if there's any stains or any wear and wear and tear on this. And I'm hope I'm hoping it'll be fine. So let's get her open and See how she holds up. Okay, so Lena's out of the box. Here's the figure. She looks really good. Dragon Quest IV is one of my favorites. It is. It's a fantastic game. I pl I played the Nintendo DS the DS version, and and I and I completed it. And that was rewarding. Now, Elena is from a country called Sarevna. And from what I understand, according to, uh, Dra from what I saw in Dragon Quest Heroes, Sarevna, and, and Dragon Quest Sports, Sarevna is basically Russia. So, Elena, Kirill, and what is it? Who is it? Burai? They're all from a country based on, on, yeah, yeah, it's based on Russia, a Tsar is some kind of leader, a Tsar is some kind of leader in Russia, so, <clears throat> that's, I mean, Tsar Tsarevna, I think that was her father, um, so Tsarevna is a, is a Russian-like country, but Elena looks cool, her hat, hat looks good, and, Hmm. Let's see these marks here. I think that's just um, uh, mark. That's just uh, indic indicator of the texture of the hat. Okay, her. I see. Um, so far that everything's okay. Um, cape looks good. Well, I think it moved. Does it move? Oh no, uh, the instructions didn't come with this figure. That's that's part of that's probably part of why it was, uh, why the figure was rated B as well as the box. And the box was rated B. And also, uh, she comes with an extra head, which is more of a screaming face. Uh, she comes with interchangeable hands, an orange slime, uh, comes with this pot, keep it away from Link, and this jar, I forgot the name of this demon, I'll have to look it up later. Also, she comes with a pair of claws. Yes, we we covered claw, Jade's claws in the uh, pre in the previous video, and now Elena has claws. I'm sure they're interchangeable. Another thing that she comes with is this ring. Now I don't know if this goes around. This is supposed to go around her neck, or or something. I don't see anywhere else she would she would um, wear this. So. I actually, 
um, we'll figure this out as I go. The, the figure looks good so far. And she comes with an acrylic, her own acrylic stand. Yeah, that's another acrylic stand. But you know, it's okay. It's fine. I'm not worried about it. Let me just get everything set up. And we'll get everything working. I have to make a um, retraction of sorts. Now, the box says, Elena, the Princess Zamoxva. Dreams of escaping the castle, travel the world, and put her martial arts skills to the test. Always creating havoc around the castle, this tomboy Tsarevna is, is a constant source of consternation for her father, the Tsar, and her faithful retainers. One day, Elena finally breaks away from the castle confines to fulfill her dreams. Concerned for her welfare, Borea, her tutor, and Kirill, the priest, rush after Elena and join her on the adventure of her of her lifetime. So she's from Zamoxva. I don't know if that's that's still a little Russian like country. I mean, but uh, judging by their accents, I would say they they are. So Elena is a princess. She causes trouble around the castle, so in terms of causing trouble, she's kind of like Naruto. <clears throat> Alright. So, she's on her stand. And, I don't know, I, I don't know if the cape moves, but this, this part of her arm seems kind of, uh, shoulder seems kind of, uh, somewhat loose, not fully tight. Well, we'll, we'll work with it somehow. And uh, notice that um, her legs do move, and her tunic is in the way. So I don't want to, uh, and since I don't want to tense things, I want to be extra careful. But she looks like she's she's ready for action, so we should just, uh, she wants action, she wants liveliness, so that's what we're going to give her. So with Elena, I'm really having fun with this figure. You know, um, the figure's rated B and pre-owned. I'm still having fun with her regardless. Seriously. Like, you know, all the, all the posing, the posing is cool. Uh, she doesn't come with a lot of excessive, a lot of like, a lot of arm, armed accessories like in the game. But you know, I'm sa I'm satisfied with this, and it's taken me back to when I first played Dragon Quest IV on on um, Nintendo DS. I still gotta try the PlayStation version. I know it's the same, but I want I still want it though. And you know, I I like Elena, and I like Dragon Quest IV. Zenithia Saga is, is is lots of fun, and I I miss it. It's you know this you know Elena figure. Is actually, is actually making me miss the Zenithia Saga games, and I do want to play them again. So, with sorry about that, I'm really, you know, I don't know. I, I'm it's making this figure is making me feel a certain way, longing. I want to play those games again. I mean, I, I had fun with the Dragon Quest XI figures, but the older games just... It's, it's like... It's more at-home feeling, you know? Dragon Quest, in general, feel, makes me feel at home, but... Elena just... Makes me consider... Makes me just want to go back and accomplish what I couldn't accomplish, you know?
I've, I never really had that kind of thought before. So, yeah, thanks for watching. And make sure you, make sure you, make sure you subscribe. Wow. Take care. Make good decisions. Yeah, straighten that out.